नमस्कार बेंगलूरु वेलकम टू निम्मा यूट्यूब चैनल ब्रांड्स ऑफ बैंगलोर हियर वी टॉक अबाउट ब्रांड्स एंड पीपल दैट मेक नम्मा बेंगलुरु प्राउड एंड वी ऑल नो नम्मा बेंगलुरु इज नोन एज द सिलिकॉन वैली ऑफ इंडिया व्हाट कम्स टू योर माइंड व्हेन यू हियर बेंगलुरु आईटी कंपनीज स्टार्टअप्स यूनिकॉर्न्स पार्टी जॉब्स वेदर ट्रैफिक बट डू यू ऑल्सो नो हाउ बेंगलुरु बिकेम द स्टार्टअप कैपिटल फॉर इडली एंड दोसा येस इन टू डेज वीडियो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट द वर्ल्ड फेमस ब्रेकफस्ट कैपिटल ऑफ नम्मा बेंगलुरु इफ यू हैव गेस इट ऑलरेडी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एम टी आर येस द मावली टिफिन रूम इन अ वेरी फेमस लोकेटेड आट लाल बाग रोड ऑफ डबल रोड राइट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट हाउ डेड इट रियली स्टार्ट what is the journey and where are they today and what are the lessons that you and i can learn from this amazing amazing brand that makes namma bengaluru proud let's get started it all started off in 1920s when the 3m brothers yes i call them 3m because the maya brothers parmeshwara maya ganapaya maya and the yagna narayan maya all three from udupi stepped out of their comfort zone to make history imagine in 1920s when education was not prominent british raj was ruling us there was absolutely no telecommunication or transportation facilities the three brothers stepped out of the comfort zone they left their own house why to make a living so they reached bangalore and all they knew was to cook right so their legacy moved from serving idlis and dosas and cooking at the rich and affluent people's house to reach six countries and millions of household across the world in 98 to 100 years that's a century of a legacy so let's try and understand how this journey actually began way back in 1920s the 3m brothers stepped out of udupi cooking at the rich and the affluent landlords of bengaluru Four years later, in 1924, the elder brother Parameshwara Maya was encouraged and supported from one of his employers. Decided to start a very small restaurant near Lal Bagh Fort in Namma Bengaluru. Along with his brother Ganappa Maya, he started his first venture. He called it Brahmin Coffee Club, a place where they served idlis and coffees. After the demise of Parameshwara Maya the young brother Yagna Narayan Maya joined the establishment and later turned and named the Brahmin Coffee Club to MTR which is famously called the Mawalli Tiffin Room Mawalli is a very famous joint near Lal Bagh and it is named after that place Now let's get back to the top 3 lessons that you and I can learn from MTR Lesson number 1 customer's trust is god's trust When we say this for years the entrance of MTR was from the kitchen you would be surprised that every customer had to cross the kitchen to reach the dining area why because the customers could feel the hygiene the cleanliness and the discipline and the food quality maintained by MTR so if you are able to win the trust of a customer you win the god's trust Lesson number 2 quickly adapt yourself to threats and changes during the great emergency mtr was shut down for 3 months because of the food control restrictions in india that is because of the rise in prices mtr was not able to serve the best to their customers they were forced by the government to reduce the prices of their idli and dosa imagine way back there the idli would cost close to Way back in 1976 they were selling at least for 25 paise but the government told them to sell it at 10 paise which was very very difficult for them to compromise Similarly the dosa was supposed to be sold at 50 paise but the prevailing price of that dosa was 1 rupee and 25 paise You might find it very very funny for now but back in 1970s this was a premium price so instead of succumbing to quality or compromising on quality and service they chose to shut down the restaurant finally they had to shut it down for 3 months but the lesson that we actually learned from them is to maintain their ethics in place The Maya brothers decided that they are not going to sacrifice or let go of their employees. They ensured that even if they are shut down for 3 to 4 months, 
they paid their employees salary unlike today where you see most of the it companies like twitter the amazon the byju's are ruthlessly selling their employees trust by laying them off but mtr stood ground way back in 1976 without the use of computers without the use of technology they believe that their employees are their strength and then they stuck with them they came up with the combination of innovation to their food items so they start selling rasams chutneys and puliyogre powders in the packaged food so they came up with this concept of giving fresh and the quality products if people cannot come to mtr mtr is going to go to the customer so that was the concept way back in 1976 the third uh, lesson that we can hear or we can learn from mtr is solve your own problems on your own during the world war 2 there were restrictions on sale of rice mtr tried to experiment with semolina which was commonly called as rawa and hence the innovation they were the pioneers the founders the inventors of the world famous rawa idli idli was made usually made out of rice but because of this problem they never shut down the the requirement of making idlis via rice they start creating rawa idli which is now being favored as the most prominent discovery in the food industry number 4 Don't be scared of going out of your own. MTR started in Bengaluru and slowly started to expand and running smoothly in various parts of the globe till date. MTR is present in Dubai, Malaysia, Singapore and over 60 other countries in their packaged food industry selling rasam powder. They are also coming up with innovative methodology of selling bhel puri in the bar. That's the kind of innovation that these people are into it. Lesson number 5 don't just expand but make records. MTR was never never shying away from serving to their customers. They have a world record of serving 21000 customers in just 7 hours. Now that is worth the wait. Lesson number 6 be innovative but don't deviate. That means you say they never deviated into other businesses which they could have. They would have got into clothing, apparel, real estate or so on and so forth. But MTR stuck to the ground and started focusing on their primary business model which is food business. They focused on enhancing their customer experiences, they focused on maintaining the standards, the quality and innovating and being relevant to today's customer. These are the lessons that you and I can definitely learn from MTR 